In this video, I want to show you to save as new version of Project in Reaper. So I'm starting off with a new project and I want to import some stems into it. Let me go to my hard drive and here are the stems I want to import. Some drums, bass, instruments, and vocals. But before we do that, I want to show you some preferences I set up in Reaper for me, which are a bit different than the defaults. Let's go to the options menu and go down here to preferences. Then we'll scroll down into project. And right down here are the project saving defaults we could change. This is set up to its default, but I'm going to change it to keep multiple versions when I save on top of the file and also change this from 15 minutes to just one minute and also when the transport is stopped. So now every minute while my project is open, it's gonna create a backup of this file or auto save it. And I'm gonna put it into a different directory and name it auto backups. This way my backups are all in a separate folder. And there's one other thing I like to do. If we go up here to the toolbar, and choose the project settings and go into the media tab, I like to create a path or a separate folder to add my audio files or media to. And I'll name it audio files, which will organize my folder with my projects in it. And I'm also gonna choose on import of media to project to create a copy automatically. This way all my media or my audio is always in my project folder, keeping it organized, as hard drive space is pretty cheap and it's not worth losing my audio or my media in my projects. So now I'm gonna save this as my default for my project settings. So every project I work with in Reaper is gonna behave this way. So now let's import our stems. Let's select all and just drag them in to the track control panel right over here and drop them, which now looks like this my drums, bass, instruments, and vocals. So now if I wanna save this, I'm not just gonna hit save. Typically on first save, you're gonna hit save as. So we'll go up here to the file menu and choose save project as. And I've already created a folder for all my songs. So I'm gonna name this song A and make sure I choose this option over here. To create a subdirectory for my project, which is gonna create a new folder for this project, and put the media into a separate folder within it, along with all our backups. So one folder is gonna organize everything. We'll save it. And now if we look at our hard drive, it looks like this. Here's my songs folder, and here's that folder we just saved with that project in it and the audio files in a separate folder. Again, keeping it all organized. So now, if we save our project again, right here, save project, and go back to our hard drive, we now see our project file and a backup file and a backup folder for all the auto saves we created. And if I keep hitting save, this file is gonna get bigger. Let's check that out. I'll save it three times. Now we can see the backup file is much bigger than the original because there's actually multiple backups in this file. So we double click it to open it. Reaper gives us options of which file we want to reopen. So every time we hit save, it's adding a new project to this file. Well, we still have the original over here. It's backing up the old file to here while updating this one. But that's why I wanted to show you this new feature. Save as new version in Reaper. If we go to the file menu, we could choose right here to save a new version of the project. And if we choose this and go to our hard drive, we could see a whole new version with a version number 0.1 that gets added to this folder. So we still have the original. It's not replaced or added to this one. We get a new version every time we hit save or save as new version. Let's do it again, file, save new version of project. And now we have song A version two. And we can reopen these at the same time. 
Let's open them both. And we get a different tab with each version to choose from. And I like this feature so much, let's close these two, that I like to change the keyboard shortcut for save to save as new version for our projects. So I'm gonna go up here to the actions menu, show action lists. I'll type in save to the filter. And here's the normal save project. Let's delete that keyboard shortcut and instead add it to save new version of project. Although you can use the keyboard shortcut that's already set up by default, but that requires more modifiers. So I'd like to add the default keyboard shortcut for save. On PC, it's Control S. On Mac, it's Command S. And also change the scope to global plus text fields. So no matter what, create this keyboard shortcut in any window, it's gonna create a new version of our projects. Let's save it. And now if I type that keyboard shortcut, instead of saving over our file and creating a backup, we get a new version of our file. Let's create a few more. Let's hit it three times. And now we can see we have three more versions of our project. And like I mentioned earlier, the file size of these projects are not very big, as the audio or media is all going to be in this folder. So saving a lot of versions, which is what I prefer to do, is a nice safety net in case you accidentally erase something or delete a track and you don't catch it till later. We can reopen all the versions and see them all right here in the different tabs and just copy and paste the different tracks or media from each. And then we can close the other tabs and just work on the newest version of our project. And if this list gets too long, you can always just delete the ones you don't need. Now we just have the newest one. And every time we hit save, it creates a new version of our project, while we still have all the old ones we saved. So that's pretty much it. That's save as new version in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you could use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo, boys, let's go.